Hi guys, Yasas Kekalosi Fetet to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making Greek coffee, the classic Greek drink that just brightens up my day. <laughs> sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, and sometimes both. Now I did this recipe way, way back in the beginning of the channel, and I thought I'd revisit it and give you some extra tips and tricks and maybe do a better quality video since it's been requested over and over again, both on here and on Instagram and on Facebook. It's so easy to make. Um, you just need a few things, plus a little maybe something to snack on with it, like a pastry, maybe like a baklava spiral. If you want to learn how to make it, wait till the end and you can watch the card. But basically what you're going to need is some Greek coffee. Greek and Turkish coffee is basically the same thing. It's finely ground coffee that is cooked with some water and sugar if you like it sweet. And then it's just poured into demi-tasse cups or if you like a lot of coffee, you can make, put it in a big mug and drink it. This does not have any cream or milk or dairy or anything like that. It's rich and creamy on its own and it is easy to make as long as you do it right. So you're gonna need a little pot like this that's known as a briki and I'll put a link down below where you can get it on Amazon. If you have Middle Eastern or Mediterranean grocery stores nearby, they probably carry it, they usually do. So check over there before you go on Amazon if you really care to do that. Now what you're gonna need is some water, sugar, and basically the coffee, that's all you need. If you don't wanna put sugar, so there's three ways to make it, sketos, which means plain without sugar, metrios, which means lightly sweetened, could mean one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons, whatever that means for you. And glikos, which means sweet and you know, you want to put two teaspoons in there, three teaspoons, whatever you like. So I have two cups so I can show you how to make a small one and a, a little, a bigger one. This is a little teacup. So for the teacup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about one and a half heaping teaspoons. That would be probably like two <laughs> teaspoons of coffee. And I like my Greek coffee metrios, so I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar and I like to put the coffee and the sugar on the bottom and then I measure the water in the cup that I'm using pour that in there give it a mix mix it really well okay the thing that you you don't want to do is to mix it once it's on the fire so I have a electric burner here in Greece they do it on like this little portable um, gas burner mix it really well then when you put it on the burner you could just mix it just for a few more seconds and then stop mixing and let it cook over medium heat until it starts to come to a boil once it comes to a boil you're gonna see like a thick foam rise to the top and that is very it's what you need it's what makes the Greek coffee if you don't have the foam it's gonna be flat and flavorless so don't mix let it boil once it comes to a boil then you're just gonna carefully pour it into the cup Now we're going to make the smaller portion size. So for the smaller one, you're going to need one heaping teaspoon of Greek coffee. And also put a flat teaspoon of sugar. Give it a nice mix. And the good thing about Greek coffee, you can make it over and over again in the same pot because there's no dairy in it, nothing burns, nothing sticks. Like if you're making it for a big group of people, Put it on the stove top and let it come to a boil and pour it in the cup and you'll have Greek coffee for two in no time. You can definitely make two cups of Greek coffee in one little Greek pot depending on how big your little briki is. Mine definitely does hold two. I just like to make it separately just to ensure that each person gets the nice creamy froth that comes to the top, the gaimaki. So I have a baklava spiral here that goes great with the coffee. I made this a few days ago. And if you like baklava, you're gonna love this. It actually stays a little more crisp than regular baklava does. And the best way to drink coffee is to have a bite of something sweet and then to wash it down with the Greek coffee. Mm. Ah, this coffee is so good. <clears throat> it's bold, it's strong enough, but it's not too strong actually. I can drink Greek coffee, but I can't drink, American coffee sort of bothers me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the way that it's made. The caffeine is maybe, I don't know, caffeine hits you a little bit differently. But this coffee I can have easily without any problems. It doesn't make me jittery or anything like that. It gives me a lot of energy. I'm not touting it as, a, as like having health benefits, although it probably does. But it's delicious. It's bold. It's almost creamy, even though it doesn't have cream in it. 
and it's so simple to make. I hope you guys give it a try. Call some friends over, make some coffee, have a good time, and I will see you guys next time. Yes, us.